Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining us here once again at the Loveland Living Planet Aquarium as we bring the aquarium to you every day at 3 p.m. My name is Brent, and I'm going to be showing you guys some fun experiments that you can do at home with color and pigments. Now, all you're going to need for these experiments is water, markers, and either paper towels, coffee filters, something that's going to be good at sucking up and holding water. Today, we're going to be doing our experiments with some coffee filters. These experiments are going to show you how water, as it moves through these different substances, can catch onto the pigments of different colors and spread them out. And you'll see that some colors, like black, are not actually just black. There's a couple of different ways to do this, and we're going to show you two of them. One, you'll need some containers with a little bit of water in them, and your filter device with a little bit of color drawn on it. What you do is take it and set it so that the water will start to soak up here. And I'll get these ones all going here. Now the reason the water travels up these is because they're very fibrous. Water is extremely sticky. It loves to grab and hold on to things, including the fibers of these paper towels. As the water grabs and climbs on, it's going to be pulling itself up slowly. It'll start forming a chain and moving itself up. While we give these guys a moment here, we'll go ahead and move to our next part. We've got a few pieces that are drawn on the table. And we'll use a dropper to put a few drops of water in. And we're going to be getting the same thing as the water spreads through the fibers, it's going to take some of the ink with it. And you're going to start to see a really neat color explosion starting. I'll give this guy just a little bit more water here. Now you can see with our color explosion, the water is spreading out. And as it's getting to the edges and slowing down, it's carrying the ink with it. And we're starting to get a gradient forming. We're able to see the pinks and the greens spreading out and mixing with each other. And as they go, you're also starting to see there's a few colors within the individual ones. Over here with our black, you can see it's starting to spread out. It's beginning to look more blue and even a little bit of green on the sides. Black in nature doesn't exist as just a pigment. The reason is, when we're seeing colors on something, it's the light hitting it, some of it gets absorbed, and then some of it bounces back. When we have white light, we're seeing all of the colors all together. Black is viewed as an absence. Well, with these pigments, having black with a lot of really dark colors all together, our eye perceives it as black, even though it's not a true black. Over here, we're starting to get some really good spreading going on as well. Here we go, our purple, we're starting to spread out. You can see the reds and the blues that make it up. And as the brown is going, it's starting to get a little bit lighter in coloration. So try out different types of markers, different colors, and see what makes up the colors that you see every day. Thank you for joining us once again here at the Loveland Living Planet Aquarium. We hope that you have fun with this experiment and take some pictures and let us know how it turned out. And we will see you tomorrow at 3 p.m.